Hi, I'm Taylor and I'm a full stack software developer. We talk about a stack as far as like all of the different applications that are communicating with one another and all of the different programs that are running and working together in order to take a request that's coming from a user's browser or from a user's mobile phone and all of the APIs and the servers and the databases that are talking to one another to respond to that request. And so a full stack engineer is a software developer who's writing code not only for the user's front end web applications or mobile applications, but they're also writing API code that sits in the middle, they're writing server code that sits in the back, and they're also connecting and communicating with databases. A full stack developer is essentially a front-end and a back-end developer, but they don't only have skills with front-end development and back-end development, they also understand how those pieces work together and they're able to create the communication that exists between those two, those two sides. A full-stack developer is not just looking at front-end and back-end, but also how those two pieces um, communicate and how they integrate together. I love full stack development because I, I love both front end and back end development. Um, as a front end developer, you are working with what the user is going to see and what they're going to interact with. I consider myself really creative and artistic, and so I enjoy thinking about how is the user best going to be engaged with the website that I'm creating. And I, and I like creating the styles and the colors and, and the different layouts that the user is going to interact with. However, I'm also, I love problem solving and you're, you will problem solve as a front end developer, but there are some, I think, larger puzzle pieces that you get to work with and you get to put into play whenever you start integrating with a back end. I think having a game plan for knowing what type of technologies to learn and what you want to start with is really important. Um, sometimes it's difficult to get started because there's so many different options out there. You don't know what your first step should be. Um, and in all honesty, if you learn one single, uh, if you learn one front end language, you can probably transfer that to other front end languages. And if you learn one back end language like Java or C sharp or Node.js, you can probably transfer that to those other languages. So getting started is one of the most important things. It's just jumping in and learning something. Um, because as you learn and as you understand the, the basic building blocks of programs and the building blocks of how those applications work together, that knowledge is very transferable. So don't feel like you have to learn all of it. If you just start with something, you can take that and build on top of it. And a lot of times transfer it to other um, technologies or other skill sets. But just getting in there and starting to learn something is going to be really important. Um, and then I would also just recommend to definitely code as much as you can <laughs> and get your hands on the keyboard because you can learn and watch videos and read articles and you know teach yourself quite a bit read different books but until you're actually solving the problems yourself and you're having to tr troubleshoot and learn how to google things like that's a big deal <laughs> learning how to google is a really important skill as a software developer so Understanding how to break down a problem and articulate that problem is um, a skill set that's really key to being a successful developer. And you're not going to build that skill set until you're actually building code and building projects. So I would also recommend to to build your portfolio and do little, you know, build small tic-tac-toe games or do something, start somewhere and you can build up from there. And the more you do and the more problems you solve, um, the the stronger your skill set is going to be, but also the more confident you're going to be in your own skills. Once you, you have this skill set and once you have started, you're starting to get experience, you can really, the opportunities and the directions that you can take that are, are so limitless. You can work in pretty much any industry. <laughs> you can take those technology skills and apply it in that industry. So it's um, very versatile and there, I feel like there are always 10 open doors that I could go towards. It's just deciding what I want to do and what I'm interested in and what I'm passionate about and then taking those skills and applying them in that direction.